Hey there, we are talking about uh, uploading videos again today. I'm sorry if this is getting um, monotonous for you. I know it's been three days in a row. I am working on a playlist um, for TubeBuddy actually, and all of its many features. And today we're gonna talk about how to make end screens. And I'll be honest with you, I didn't even know what an end screen was for probably the first six months that I was using um, YouTube. Um, there's so many things that you can do. And if you're new, just, Go with what you know and keep getting better and keep learning and don't try to focus on those gurus out there that know everything and feel like you're a failure um, because they were where you were at one time it's just a learning process and i'm putting these videos together to help you so that you can take one feature at a time and learn how to use it and go wow i got another one so it's eventually going to all be into one big playlist and you can just go through and pick and choose the ones you want so today we're going to talk about end screens and i at first I'm like I don't even know what an end screen is it's basically the last screen of your video and YouTube allows you to advertise on it like you can put three other videos that you have and you can also put a link to your website page if you have one so that's pretty cool and I've noticed since I've been doing that I've had more traffic at my website so it's all those little things that you learned that helps you figure out how to get there right how to become bigger now here is the pricing for TubeBuddy. i always show this first because i want you to see how economical it is it's only nine dollars a month or you can start out for free and um, you take advantage of the different benefits and i'll be honest i can't remember if the free account is two weeks i'm thinking it's two weeks but i jumped right in and got the pro account and this is why look up here in the top left hand corner at the time that i got it i was under a thousand subscribers watch what happens this is i was like man they are so nice watch this i have less than a thousand and they charge you half price isn't that amazing and it's just I think they look out for the little guy. They look out for the small channels and they try to help you grow. You don't have to pay $27 or $49 a month right out of the gate. And I know a lot of software tools do that and it's really overwhelming when you're new because you don't know what you need. You don't know which level of membership to buy and then you end up buying a bunch of stuff that you don't need yet. So in this case, beginner um, marketer to beginner marketer, get the pro account if you're under a thousand go half price and as you're using it as you learn all the different features then upgrade and it might take you six months but that's okay so now let's get down to business and figure out what end screens are I've already uploaded a video I've been using this as my sample and I want to show you I'm not going to show you how to upload a video and all the features and all that I'm actually going to put that video in the end screen okay so that you can look at it and find out how to do that all right so end screens are over here to the left I want to show you one more thing too buddy does because I'm not gonna make a whole video on this but right here if you want to make sure you hit all of the steps you can click these like write a compelling title and just kind of click them off um, we've already done a completion we've done our descriptive tags we just created a thumbnail um, add info cards add to playlist engage with the video promote existing videos which we're going to be doing soon and share on social media so you can just go through and check those off as you do it and it kind of helps you remember everything that you have to do you really end up just doing it without thinking but down here it says at least one end screen let's go ahead and hit that you saw right above it that it says at least one card a card is like an end screen but they're in the middle of the video so if you're talking about something um, and and maybe you want to say hey go ahead and watch that video and like I just did see I'm telling you wait till you get to the end if I was monetized I could put it right there I could say hey go ahead and watch that video I just put it up there and then I could put a card in there and that kind of helps you talk about things and implant them embed them right away um, as you're going along all right that's a crazy that's not a thumbnail I would use I was using that as an example if you've been following me you, you know that now this is how to make a, an end screen you hit add element after I hit add end screen and here it says video or playlist create you could do your most recent upload if you want to do that you could do the best for viewers so YouTube will pick it for you or you can pick it 
And basically it doesn't show every video you made, but it will show several videos. Now I'm not going to sit here and find specific videos, but I will tell you this right now. I had mentioned that I'm going to show you a video that I made about how to upload a YouTube video. And I don't think it's been in the last month that I made it, which most of these are like recent. So I'm going to have to open up another tab, go find the video, get the link. And then I can go down here and enter the link there. See that? Oh, let me open that back up. Or I can pick one of the videos that are here. See where it says upload? I can upload one of those or put the YouTube video link right here. So we're just going to pick one for the sake of picking one. So let's just pick that one. And then you can do three different videos and one other thing. So you get to pick four things all together. I like to hit the subscribe button and what it does, it picks up my logo, your logo. Now my logo happens to be, look up here in the corner, in YouTube, I use my logo instead of a picture of my face. So you're probably gonna have your face pop up. Most people do that, but I use my logo and I'm gonna add it two more. Um, if you wanna do a playlist, uh, maybe you just really wanna promote that, you can hit playlist and then all of your playlists will pop up and then you just hit one of those. So we've got um, YouTube for beginners. Let's just pick that playlist. And I still get one more and I'm going to do another video. Now down here, you can promote somebody else's channel if you want to, and it will literally promote their channel and take somebody from your video to their channel. Um, that's totally up to you if that's something you want to do. I'm going to go ahead and pick another video. I'm going to, going to say best for the viewer. I'm going to let YouTube pick it. I typically don't do that. It just depends on what my topic is. Make money online, I probably would because it's so big and so open. Um, but if I'm talking about something specific, I might not. It, it's just up to you. So there you go. So now you select the save button. And all of this will go right at the end of your video. And you can go in and change these. So let's say you've been at this for two or three years and you wanna just um, refresh, freshen everything up, which I highly recommend. I've only been doing this not even a year yet and I'm already freshening up some of my old videos from you know 10 months ago because I've learned how to do better thumbnails. And a year from now, I probably will look at these and go, oh my gosh, I can upgrade again. But that's just part of the process. You just keep getting better. And this is what I love about YouTube. I know we're talking about TubeBuddy, but I love YouTube because I can do that. It doesn't disappear. I don't have to post something on Facebook and then it's gone. I can recycle stuff. I can fix it up. I can make it better and keep using it. The only thing I can't change is the video itself. So if you have a video that's really, 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 really bad, um, and I've done that, just delete it, um, especially after you get through 400. So there you go. Now I go back to my original video and I want to save um, or hit done and then that's going to publish it. And that's it. That's how you do your end screens. TubeBuddy has everything right there. Another thing, I forgot to do this. Uh, let me go back in uh, to this. Um, yes, see right here, I'm going to delete one of these. I'm actually going to delete them all. This is something else you can do because of TubeBuddy. Let me show you. YouTube offers the end screen, but TubeBuddy says um, use a template. And look at that. It will it'll lay out my um, different videos and my logo however I want. If you want to just do two or if you want to do all four, look at that. So it gives you a little template. So let's use this one. And we're going to select. And then in, instead of going over to the other page, uh, the add element, I just click, double click this, and then I can choose a video or a playlist, and then just pick one of these. Double click. And I asked for the logo, so there it is. And that'll take everybody, my website is connected to that, and it will take them there. And we'll do another one. Again, I, I do take time and pick videos that are actually, um, applicable to what I just did. Uh, but for the sake of time, I just pick some. And then again, you just hit save. Now you can also save your template. Let's say you have the same two or three or four videos that you want to put on the end of every single 
video, you can save it as a template and then just bring it back up. See, it says import from another video. So let's say I made this um, thing here. I've got my logo and I've got two videos and I want to keep using them for the next 10 videos. I can remember what video this is and then I can say import my end screen from this video. So you want to tuck that away sometime and do that. I don't do that. I tend to try to change it up. But again, if you're doing something that is relevant and is applicable and you want to keep using the same one, TubeBuddy will allow you to do that. You can also go over here and preview if you would like. So pretty cool, great features in TubeBuddy. All right, that's all I have for today. Don't forget to hit the link below for TubeBuddy. Check out the free um, offer or just pay the 450 and and start you start using it. I can't emphasize enough how much I have learned and how much easier it is to use YouTube. I was so lost. I, one of the reasons I'm recycling some of my videos is because the tags are just Oh my gosh, they're so bad. They had nothing to do with the video. I just thought of some tags that I thought people would look for and they didn't even match. I have had to go in and remove them and um, I, I sort and fix it and make sure I use all 500. I mean, I've just, I've done so much to recycle. But the point is, um, I didn't know that TubeBuddy existed and it was there to help me and it made such a big difference. So um, thumbs up if this was helpful. Sincerely, give me some comments if, if this was helpful to you because I really, from the bottom of my heart, I want to make you videos that will help you grow in your business, okay? And I want to thank you for being here today and watching.